All right, so I'm going to do a quick video here on how to update your uh, transporter HD goggles from Emacs. These are the ones that are for HD Zero. And I did a video on doing HD Zero firmware updates like a while ago, but uh, things have changed a little bit, so that's why I've gotten some questions. And uh, there wasn't firmware for this for a while, but there is now. And this is like July 2023, so uh, if you're watching this far in the future, I may have done another update. Uh, but this is to basically update what's been going on. But this is the um, HD Zero goggle from Emacs. Uh, there's, a, I think, another goggle from Fat Shark called a Scout HD. And then, of course, there's the um, the module itself, the VRX module, and also the HD Zero goggles. The firmware update process should be similar for the other products, but I don't have um, a lot of those other ones, so can't demonstrate it uh, in this video for every single one, but the process should be pretty similar. So basically, you gotta go to the HD Zero website and go to their so download support page. I'll put a link down in the video description so you don't have to go and Google that. Um, just go there, and then uh, the first part of that page is gonna be like manuals, and then about halfway down will be all the firmware. And the most recent firmware should be on top. Uh, the one I've got here is like I think June 26th. So again, if you're watching this in the future, there's probably something newer and hopefully they haven't changed their process again and it's at the top. So what you want to do is get the most recent version of the, of the firmware and just go ahead and click that download zip and then save it somewhere on your PC and it'll be a zip file. You can't just copy that to your SD card and update that, it won't work. I know a lot of people have done that and that's where the, the mistake starts. Uh, so what you wanna do is you wanna right click on that and hit extract all and then go ahead and unzip that file and it'll open up a folder with a bunch of additional zip files inside there. And then those are going to be for different um, HD Zero type products. So there's obviously the Emacs goggles, there's going to be some video transmitters, etc. So obviously uh, find the one for your product. In this case, this is going to be the transporter goggles. And it's uh, pretty obvious which one it is. And then you want to right click on that zip file again and hit extract all. And then it'll dump out another folder with a bunch of files. And at that point, you want to go ahead and put in your micro SD card and um, copy those files over from your desktop PC um, to the micro SD card. And in my case here, I have a completely blank one, just empty, I formatted it. It's probably safe to just format it and then actually format it in the goggles and then uh, make sure it's empty. And then when you bring it over to the PC, just dump those files over, copy those files over. And then once you've got the files on your micro SD card, We'll go ahead and we'll pop it into the goggles. In this case, we have a, just a screen here and we have a, I'm gonna remove that. And make sure your battery, in this case, is fully charged. You don't want this, uh, the battery or the, the screen turning off in the middle of your firmware update. That's gonna be very bad. And then we'll go ahead and we'll just power this on with the SD card in there and with the files on there already. Go ahead and power this up. And we can see here it's doing this read file. So that's what you should see. If you don't see that, you might get an error message. It might be something wrong with your card. Something might be corrupted. You may need to reformat the card and start over. But you can see here it's starting to write. It says write Emacs transporter. And that should be obviously related to the files that you unzipped. And if, and if you are um, putting the wrong files on here by accident, you're probably going to get an error message or it'll fail. Uh, I don't know what happens when you put the wrong one on there, so be careful. It might break your your monitor or your goggles, so just be aware of that. Um, I obviously I, I'm not going to test that, but if you happen to know what happens, let me know in the comments. I'm curious if you happen to uh, flash the wrong firmware. I'm pretty sure it just gives you an error message uh, instead of just breaking the device. I'm hoping that that's not the case, but because you know people make mistakes. Uh, but yeah, you're going to get this and uh, it's going to uh, write this file and there's going to be a couple more files. Okay, so after those three files have been written, you should get this firmware update successfully uh, message. And then you want to shut down and repower your uh, VRX. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down the power button in this case. And I should turn it off. And we'll go ahead and turn it back on again. So just double check here, we'll go into the menu. And we'll hit the about button here. 
and we should be on this firmware version 40.13.4b uh, should be the correct version after you've updated at least for the one that's on uh, June 26th. Obviously if you have something more recent than that, that number will be different. So if you've been having some issues with getting like for example the OSD to work on your HD0 goggles, uh, this is the fix for it and obviously you want to update your uh, video transmitters as well to the same firmware versions just make sure everything is in sync. One of the things that this particular uh, June 26 revision brings to the Transporter 2 goggles here is the updated icons. So you get the, like, the color icons, they're a little bit nicer looking. Uh, so you will get that on this particular revision. Anyway, hope you found the video helpful. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. we really appreciate that. And if you want more videos like this, consider subscribing. That would really help out the channel. That will do it for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.